When designing wireless systems, at some point you need to verify the quality of the physical signal. This design verification task involves transmitting the signal with an RF signal generator and receiving the signal with an RF signal analyzer. With MATLAB, the wireless waveform generator app in the toolbox is shown below, you can easily verify your wireless signals in the same environment that you use to design them. We'll use an 802.11ax signal for our demonstration. In particular, we will demonstrate how to create a WLAN 802.11ax signal, send it out over the air using an RF vector signal generator, acquire the same signal from an RF signal analyzer, and evaluate the received wireless waveform characteristics using MATLAB. To evaluate the quality of the signal, we will look at constellation plots and calculate the error vector magnitude of the signal. Let's get started. First, let's create an 802.11ax signal in MATLAB. This can easily be accomplished using the wireless waveform generator app, which comes with communications toolbox. This app includes a transmitter tab, which allows you to integrate with real test instruments from Keysight, Rodi and Schwartz, and others. In this way, you can transmit the signal that you created in software over the air or onto a coaxial cable. You can see here that the app provides a variety of WLAN waveforms and other common wireless waveforms. For this demo, we will generate a waveform that conforms to the 802.11ax standard. We'll choose a channel bandwidth of 40 MHz and a modulation coding of 256 QAM. In the generator configuration window, we'll set the idle time. And we'll define a bitstream that will be encoded according to the standard. For this test, we will encode a random sequence of 1000 bits. Now we are ready to generate the waveform. We click Generate, and we can see a visualization of the spectrum of the waveform. We can quickly see that the signal has 40 MHz bandwidth. If desired, we can save the mathematical signal using the Export button. Now that we have generated the mathematical signal, our next step is to transmit the waveform out over the air using an RF vector signal generator. To do this, we go to the Transmitter tab in the Wireless Waveform Generator app. The app will automatically search for instruments that are connected to the local network. We choose our instrument, and then all we need to do is set the sender frequency and the output power of the signal. With this information, our baseband waveform will be converted to an RF signal that can be produced by the test equipment. When we click on the Transmit Waveform button, this physical signal will start transmitting. Our next step is to receive the waveform that has been transmitted over the air. In our setup, an antenna is connected to the Keysight Agilent Signal Analyzer, as you can see here. Let's open a script that is designed to import IQ data from the signal analyzer. You can see the settings and the connection code. Now let's run the script. This script also includes a plot of the acquired spectrum and a plot of the IQ data. If we look at the received spectrum, we see that the bandwidth is approximately 40 MHz, so it looks like the signal has been transmitted successfully. But how does the received waveform really compare to what we sent? Is there significant distortion of the signal? To answer these questions, we need to further analyze the received IQ waveform. Let's open a signal detection script to help us verify that our received signal is acceptable. This script will detect the signal using functions from WLAN and Communications Toolbox. The script here will show us the constellation diagram and the error vector magnitude for the first 100 packets received. Let's run the script. You can see here that the constellation diagram is being plotted for each packet that is decoded. We can see that the constellation plot looks quite clean, and our signals are clustered around the 256 points as expected for a 256 QAM signal.
we can look at the quality of the signal by plotting the EVM of the first 100 packets. Here we can clearly see that the EVM of the received signal is less than minus 33 dB, which indicates that our received 802.11ax signal still meets the EVM requirements of the standard. As we have just demonstrated, using MATLAB and the Wireless Waveform Generator app with test and measurement equipment lets you quickly verify the quality of wireless waveforms like 802.11ac and 802.11ax.